I am working on some prompts. A Dirty Dozen with Aunt Beth. There's a link to her channel and the Dirty Dozen prompt session. We are going to turn these into envelopes. Now, I am working through this really fast. Uh, really fast. And, of course, I have this into fast forward. But see how fast my hands are moving? I have to work really fast. <laughs> <laughs> because I am doing four of these, and Aunt Beck is doing two 12 by 12 pieces of uh, scrapbook paper. Now, we're already on prompt two. Prompt one was to draw circles, and uh, prompt two was to use blue. And I just kept drawing circles on all four of my papers. I have cut manila envelopes apart. And I would say they're probably about 10 by 10, 20 by 10. Each one's about 20 by 10. Okay, prompt three is to add words. Now, I add the words on all of these. You'll see that there are eight of them. Have an artful day. And this is my uh, proof that I actually added these words because they get covered up. They get covered up. And I did not try to bring the words back out again. Um, somehow they just, they're there in the background. It's my wish for you to have an artful day. The next prompt is to add napkins. So I'm hunting as fast as I can through what napkins I have. And luckily these are already split apart. And this I really do kind of like this prompt. I wasn't sure how it was going to work, but it just adds a big splash of color right there in the center. And that is, I'm also coloring, covering up my words there. And uh, yeah, this is where the envelope is going, the major part of the envelope is going to be in the center part of each one of these pages. I'll be cutting these pages apart. I'm playing with my camera, zooming in so you can see it a little bit more. So, yeah, I managed to keep up. I managed to keep up with everything. Um, and Beck, what she does is the first person that says they're ready, then they call the next prompt. So we kind of choose our own prompts. I was so busy working that I didn't have time to <laughs> type in ready, ready, ready. <laughs> so I'm drying everything off because by the time you collage all that down, it's really, it's really um, wet with glue. Okay, the next prompt is stencil with any color. And I just love this flower stencil. I really do like this flower stencil. It really adds, well, it just, it adds what you need to the page when you're doing these Dirty Dozens and Pick Tens. And JB5s. This is the one I used on my JB5s. So this is coming together with me. I'm using white and yellow to add florals on each one of these. You can see each section of these pages is going to be an envelope. I'll end up with eight envelopes at the end. And I will show each envelope at the end of this video. So I'm just stenciling away as fast as I can. <laughs> oh. But I'm listening to Aunt Beck while I'm doing this. I'm listening to her stream. Listening to the chatter that's going on. Drying everything off again. These pages are quite large. Like I said, they're, they are about 10 by 20. Each one. And then I cut it down so it's about 10 by 10. And I have eight of them. Now, the next prompt, you had a choice. And I chose uh, to use washi. And of course, I'm gluing down my washi tape. Washi tape is not a permanent tape, so if you want to use it on an envelope, you have to collage it down. And it's secure. 
I used Elmer's glue. <laughs> so I do kind of like that. Now it's really kind of taking shape for me. And you can see where I'm working there is where the main part of the envelope is going to be. Drying everything off again because by the time you put all that glue on there, it's, it's quite wet. And uh, I have to be careful not to stack these up on each other. So one of my issues is finding some place to put it while it's still wet. After it's dry, it's, it's okay. A lot of dry time going on. We're ready for prompt seven. Waiting for somebody to call it. And it was used red. So I went and got my Tuscan red. And Aunt Beck did red dots. So I used the back of my chisel tip marker. And I put red dots all over everything. Just because Aunt Beck did. I thought, well, red dots will work for me too. So there I am, dotting everything with red. I thought, well, maybe they'll end up with flowers. <laughs> And it does. It's kind of fun. I can see that on an envelope. It's really getting artsy here. I am kind of liking this. I'm enjoying it, but I am having to work. I'm having to work really fast to keep up with all these prompts. And I'm not somebody who works fast in my art. But I don't know. I seem to have really caught on with these dirty dozens. Uh, the next prompt, I choose the wild card because I want to doodle on the back of these so that I have something on the inside of the envelope, the inside flap. So I'm just crazily drawing doodles on there, little flowers. I like those diagonals, and then I put little flowers in there. But, of course, I get too detailed on this one, and I don't have enough time to finish the others. So, you see here, I'm working even faster. <laughs> So I just scribble those in as fast as I can. And then I, that's the first one. I've got three more to do. And I'm, I'm listening. Oh, no, they're going to get done. So I just start drawing diagonal lines as fast as I can. I thought, well, I'll go back. And this is a wild card. I'll go back at the end and fill in all the flowers and dots. And, and I do that. So, Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> I'm working as fast as I can to get those lines on there, though. I do it. I do it. I get it done. And here I'm just filling in all my little dots. After I draw the diagonals, I like to do all the dots. I don't think I get all the dots done. Uh, then I'll go back and put in flowers. The next prompt was add metallic. And so I choose this lavender metallic. And I just start making little flowers with my with my hands. I start out with the lavender and then I decided I didn't like it so I went to a bronze color. So I use mostly bronze. Well I get a little lavender on this one. But uh yeah. The other ones I I go for the bronze. <laughs> and these and you know, and that really just adds a little bit of shine to every every page. It really does work on these when you see them in real life. And I'm just adding little thumbprint flowers is what they are. Around those red dots, those little bronze are little petals around there. That was my intention as I was working. I don't get it around every dot, but then... Not every flower has all their petals yet either, so. So I have leftover paint, so I swish it into my dictionary. I'll use that on something sometime. It's my scrape-off dictionary book. Uh, the next prompt is, what's the next prompt? I'm straightening things out there. Oh, I think I, I didn't like the prompt, so I used the splatter. And I do my splatters with my fine line applicator. I had to stop and fill it. But what I do is I just let the, the little splatters fall out of the fine line applicator. It makes little dots all over the place. It's kind of like splatter. 
my camera, of course, I'm working so fast that <laughs> that it jiggles. Sometimes I bump my camera with my head. I'm still doing this platter. Oh, let's see what's the next prompt. Next prompt is add lines. So I'm using a, a credit card and I'm adding these black lines. I can't decide at this point whether I'm liking these or not. I'm going, oh, I like the, I like the curves. I'm not sure black was the right choice, but at least they show up. And then in, in the end they work because, well, the next prompt, uh, well, let's see, I'm doing some drying. We aren't to the next prompt yet. I'm doing some dry time. Hoping that the next prompt will give me something to recover from all these black lines. Not sure what that prompt was. I wrote it down real fast. I think it was add circles again, and I just added more little white dots. And I add it right over my black lines, uh, just to kind of mimic. Well, you could look at it two ways, like you're uh, doing a, a border <laughs> a borderline, black and white borderline, or they could be like little little buds on plants or something like that. But once these are all cut up into envelopes, it doesn't look like a, a plant or anything. It's just a very artistic shape. And I do think those white dots help those black lines. But boy, I'm having to work fast. Now I'm done with everything, so I get out my envelope punch board. Now Aunt Beck in her video shows you two ways to use the scoreboard and if you don't have a scoreboard. But I was gifted this envelope punch board by Annie V and I've been using it. So I have a phone app that tells me what size I need for my card size. Mine's a little bit larger than Aunt Beck is doing, but then I just start scoring and punching my envelopes and start making them. Now, I don't think you'll see me make all the envelopes here. Uh, I make most of them, but you can see I'm scoring them, and then I fold them up, fold them really good, and then I put double-sided tape. Well, I trim off that one little corner, put double-sided tape around the edges there, around the corners, and then I put double-sided tape on the envelope flap and see the card fits. So... Now in my next segment, I'll be going through each card, showing you what I do, what I, how they are when they're finished. I do a flip of them. So we'll just watch this until the next segment. Okay, I am finished. Yeah. Whoa. My goodness. What fun this was. Now, I might do some more to these, but I'm pretty happy with them the way they are. You saw where I participated in Aunt Beck's Dirty Dozen. I had four manila envelopes, 9 by 12 envelopes that I opened up, and I did the Dirty Dozen. And let me tell you, <laughs> you have to work fast. You got to work fast when you work that large. You have to work fast to keep up with the prompts. But I did pretty good. I did pretty good. So, um, and I even got my envelopes all finished. I'm watching Aunt Beck right now. She's painting an owl on her envelope. I would put a link to her channel and to her video after it processes. So, here are my envelopes. Now, the first one. The first one I made, I had to make mine just a little bit larger uh, to fit my size card, but I have the envelope punch board and I have a little phone application that I can put in the numbers of the width I want and it gives me the right envelope. So I'm just going to kind of show you 
what happened here. But what I don't have on here is a word or a quote. I did write it on there, but I covered it up with my napkin prompt. So I don't know. I might go in there and put something on there, but I don't think I will. I think I like it just like it is. And see, this this will be my card in here. Of course, it's just blank card right now. And I did doodle. This was my wild card prompt. I decided that I wanted to doodle on the other side. So I hurried and doodled. <laughs> oh, dear. So, but I'm happy with how they came out. I'm very happy with how they came out. I will do a clear coat varnish, and then I think I'm going to use these little post-it notes, and I will probably, I will probably put my address and the address it's going to on the back, and I will probably glue it down. I will probably glue it down. I'll put my address here and the address of the person that I'm going to send it to here, and then that way, whoever gets this has this entire side. Hopefully, if the post office doesn't mess us up, to do with whatever they want. So this is the first one. Really happy with how it came out. The last prompt was, uh, or the second last prompt was lines. One of the last prompts was lines and then um, dots. Dots are circles, and I did dots with my fine line paint applicator. And then... You hopefully will see where my hands were just white. That's because as I was drying this, I smashed those dots down. I guess it was splatter. I'm not sure what the last prompt was. Maybe I used a wild card as splatter. I can't remember. But that's how I got those white, that white on there. And I like the red in the background. You can see some of the napkin pop popping through and some of the red dots and some of the washi tape in there. What you don't see is the word or quote. I guess we're just going to have to take the address as the word or quote. Here's the second one. This one's cool. This one could almost go this way really cool. But this will be the back anyway. So, you know, they can do the back goes like this. So they can do they can do whatever they want. The address will go here. Here's the next one. They're all different. They're all really fun. And I will clear coat these. In fact, I should do that now. I'll do it after I sign off. I'll do it before I <laughs> before I call it an evening. This one is fun. And this one, I made eight of them. And then this one, I goofed up when I made the envelope. So I'll keep this one for me. This one I'll put in my art journal as a as a keeper in the, my art journal. I'll probably put it like this or take this tape off, put something else on here and use it as a pocket. Let's just put these in there. <laughs> so... You always make one for you anyway. So there it is. So I think I'll clear coat at least the front of these before I go to bed tonight. I will be streaming tomorrow, Thursday. I will be streaming. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you, Aunt Beth, for the really fun live stream. I enjoyed it. I always have fun doing Aunt Beth's Dirty Dozen art challenges. They are so fun to do, and I really enjoy working along with her. There's a link to her channel in the description box below. If you haven't subscribed to her, go give her a thumbs up and subscribe. I will see you on the next page.